Hey, today I'm talking about the new movie, Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes, the 10th theatrically released Planet of the Apes film. I've been like cautiously really excited for this. I'm like, Matt Reeves movies were incredible. So like, can they keep that magic a going? And the answer is yes, this movie was fantastic. So the basic premise is this is set roughly 300 years after the last one. And it follows the story of Noah, this young ape, as he goes on a reluctant adventure with some people he isn't the biggest fans of. And yeah, no, just so much about this movie worked so incredibly well. They grew the universe in such an interesting way. Like the culture of Noah's clan is so fascinating. They're the eagle tribe. Everyone has like an eagle companion. It's so interesting and like just the way it's all set up and like it's so fascinating. But then also like how things have evolved. Like Caesar was essentially like this Jesus figure, but he was also like Adam from Genesis. Now that it's centuries later, how have these societies remembered him, who remembers him for who he really was, who's really started to skew things and just using his name for power, like that sort of thing. And that's really, really interesting. Really this movie scratched an itch I didn't know I needed scratched. And it was just, it was so satisfying to me to just be not only in this world again, but it's also just like, it's an alien world in a sense, but it also feels so familiar. Learning about these new cultures and their new practices. And man, it just like, it struck all the chords I needed struck. And if I was going to complain about anything, it's me just being greedy because I just wanted more. I just want more history on these different tribes. I wanted more into like their religious systems. I wanted more what's been going on with different groups of humans. So it's not really a criticism. It's just me being like, give me more of this universe, please. It's so interesting. So beautiful and fascinating. Top to bottom, they really, really nailed stuff. And I really think too that a person could go into this movie having not seen anything else. The movie itself does a good job of explaining the universe, just like any like sci-fi type movie. Of, it gives you a connection to the main character and then it explores the universe going out from there after you've built that connection. So because of that, anyone can dive into this film. There's definitely lots of references to stuff from the other films, so you're definitely gonna get bits and pieces more than just a first time viewer, but like, man, no, yeah, it really, really works and I wholeheartedly recommend it. I really love this movie because it's just such a really well-told movie with an interesting universe. And they did set it up for like, this could be the first of a new trilogy. And I definitely have lots of ideas for where they could go, what I hope they do with it. But if this is just a standalone film on its own, I'm also completely fine with that. They told a very full and complete story. There is just plenty of room for more stuff because it's just about life and life is unending. So yeah, no, I really hope it gets more. So please go watch it. So it makes enough money to get some more movies. But yeah. Yeah, it's great. I loved it. Watch this movie. And now for my ranking, I put this at number four in the really like section. And this is at a total of 30 new movies so far this year.